Hello and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Today we are on my old account again, where I got Kazuha this week. Um, yeah, I got really lucky in my posts, um, that was awesome. And uh, I've used him for the past few days and gotta say, he's amazing. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to make a video about him. Um, probably just gonna run around in the world, um, defeat some enemies and share my thoughts on Kazuha. I know he's been out for a while, um, it's not his first banner. Um, but it's the first time I have a Kazuha on any of my accounts, um, so yeah. But before we start uh, killing some enemies, um, let's just go over the build real quick. He is work in progress, um, just as a heads up. Um, this is not a finished build, um, but yeah, he is um, pretty good anyway, even with a work in progress build. Um, as you can see, he has uh, over 500 elemental mastery, and then the other stats don't really matter that much, except energy recharge, 150, which I think um, is a good amount. And then yeah, he also has a bit of crit rate and crit damage, um, but those matter less than EM and energy recharge. The weapon I'm using is the Sacrificial Sword for now, because my uh, energy recharge substat rows on the artifacts are not that great, so I opted for an ER weapon. Um, but I hope that someday I can go for an EM weapon like Iron Sting maybe, or Xiphos would be really nice, I don't have Xiphos on this account though. Um, I'd only have Xiphos on my main account, I have an R4 Xiphos there. Would be kinda nice if I could transfer that to my alt account. Um, but yeah, that's not possible. And as you can see, the Sacrifice Sword is only level 40. Um, I need to farm some more of the Ascension materials for the sword. But for now, it's fine, I think. And then, artifacts, of course, four piece Viridescent Venera. Um, yeah, let's just take a look at them real quick. Got this flower here. Then I wish went a little bit more into energy recharge. Then a feather that um, yeah got one EM roll, so it's fine. Then of course the rest is all elemental mass remains dead. This one luckily got a bit of energy recharge. Um, then I have this off piece here from um, the Blizzard Strayer set. And last but not least a EM hat with both crit stats. But sadly no energy recharge. And yes, you can see they're not fully leveled yet, these artifacts. I'm, I'm gonna do that eventually, of course, but for now. But yeah, let's just take a look at the talents now. Um, 676, that's as high as I could get him for now. And Constellation, of course, C0, because this is a free-to-play account, so I'm not really going for Constellations. Um, yeah, I'd rather save my Primal Gems. But yeah, that's the build so far. And um, doesn't look that impressive, I know. Um, but to be honest, so far... Um, Kazuha is actually doing really well here on this account. And yeah, the team is Bennett, Ayaka, Kazuha, Diona. It's a mono cryo team with Ayaka as the main DPS. And yeah, with Kazuha's Rose, Ayaka is actually doing a lot of damage. And it's so much nicer to use than Bennett's Burst. You have to, you know, recharge the Burst after every use, and then it's only the small field. And if the enemies move outside the field, it doesn't really do much. Um, but with Kazuha, you can just suck them in, and I underestimated how nice that is. Just a really nice quality of life thing to just have the ability to suck in the enemies that they are all at the same place, and then just do a ton of damage with, to them with Ayaka. But yeah, I'd say I'm just gonna do daily commissions. I still have three of them left. I only did one so far today. And that was one without fighting, but I think all three of these have enemies that we can fight. So yeah, let's just go and do daily commissions. With Kazuha. Okay, so we're almost at the first commission. Some Hillagers and a Abyss Mage. Yeah, basically what I do most of the time is just um, first get the Yona's Shield up, apply Cryo to them. Then I swirl the Cryo, Kazuha, and then use Ayaka's skill and her normal and charged attacks to do a ton of damage. Obviously my Ayaka is also um, work in progress, so definitely... Um, has some potential left to, you know, unlock. Definitely can get higher numbers, but um, as you can see, uh, it only took like 10 seconds to do this commission. And yeah, even before Kazuha, a commission like that wouldn't have taken too long. I used Sucrose back then, and Sucrose was really good too. But it's definitely still um, faster with Kazuha. Also, some of the domain runs uh, for artifact farming and stuff are now way faster than with Sucrose. So to be fair, my Sucrose was even had, had an even worse build than my Kazuha does now. So on the same level of you know build, um, Sucrose is only slightly worse, I think. But yeah, it's still nice to have Kazuha. 
and and that's an understatement to be honest like <laughs> i have i've been having so much fun so far in these last few days with kazuha um that i'm actually considering maybe even pulling for him on my main account even though i kind of um just wanted to use him on my alt and skip it on my main I am considering putting him, especially since I have that Arthos Xiphos on my main, and that would be so amazing for Kazuha. But yeah, here on my own, I don't have that weapon, probably never will get it, um, because, you know, rolling a weapon banana is a free-to-play, I don't know. That's worth it. But yeah, um, let's just uh, proceed to the next commission now. Oh, this commission with the Cryo Slimes, right, That's that kind of counters my team. Um, yeah, since Ayaka is not going to do much here. And Swirling Cryo with Kazuo is also not going to do much, so let's maybe just ban it for this one. Okay, we can still try to do some damage with Kazuo. Yeah, he's still <laughs> just so good, even, even if it's against, you know, enemies like these. Holy shit, just one Kazuo skill and they are... Well, all of them are dead except the big one. And I think it was because of his plunging attack. Um, yeah, that does a lot of damage, actually, if it crits. And I'd say my Kazuo does have decent crit rate, so... I mean, not that I planned for him to have over 30% crit rate. I uh, would prefer some more energy recharge rolls, but... You know, if the plunging attack crits, that's pretty nice. Because yeah, if you didn't know, when you do the skill and then do this... It counts as plunging attack. Of course, but it also gets converted to a Nemo damage, so it also profits from the um, two-piece effect of your Death of Venera. So his plunging attack can actually do um, pretty good damage in some cases. Okay, now last but not least, we have one last commission here. It's just some hill shells. Okay, let's drop down on them here. There we go. And immediately. Use the skill. I forgot to apply cryo before, so um, that's kind of bad, but whatever. Doesn't really matter. Let's use Ayaka Burst here to get rid of the big guy. Okay. And then just the slime, right? And then probably reinforcements after that. Yeah, over there. Let's apply cryo this time. Use the skill, and then also use the burst, which I haven't used at all in this video so far. Actually spelled pyro, but it's good for getting rid of... Yeah, getting rid of the shield. And... He's dead. Just like that. Didn't even have to use Ayaka. You know, Kazuo is just such a good support that sometimes you don't even need your main DPS to do anything. Okay, now let's get our rewards. Catherine, I've done the commissions. Give me Primal Gems. Thank you very much. And Kazuo reached Friendship 3 through that. Okay, nice. But yeah, that's my Kazuo so far. Again, like I said, work in progress. Definitely could be better. But uh, so far, still, uh, he makes a noticeable difference on my account, my alt account. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy that I got him. And I also hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, have a nice day.